Matthew Tutor. Today we start the matrices in that elementary transformation. In last video already we have studied all the basic related to matrices. That is the type of matrix as well as different operation on matrix addition, subtraction, multiplication of between two matrices. So to find all this. Then which is useful for solving the example depending on elementary transformation. Then here we start the elementary transformation. There are total six elementary transformation. Out of these six elementary transformation, three trans transformations are for row and three transformation are for column that is whatever we use the transformation for row same transformation we have to use for column also okay then three transformation are for the row transformation and three are for column transformation then total elementary transformations are six then for solving the example if it is particularly given that is solve this example by using the row transformation then we have to use only row transformation if Particularly, it is given use column transformation for solving this example. Then you have to use column transformation. But if it is not given, that is just it is given solve this example by using the transformation. Then you can apply row transformation or column transformation. Okay. Then we start our first. That is the elementary transformation. In that first is interchange of any two row or any two column. That is we have to interchange. Any two rows or any two column means this transformation interchanging any two row which is applicable for row as well as is applicable for column. मतलब यहाँ पे जो interchange का transformation है वो row का वन transformation है और column का वन transformation मतलब यहाँ पे interchange के कितने total transformation है two transformation है second में जो है Multiplying uh, that is multiplication of element of any row or column by non-zero scalar. So यहाँ पे भी row का एक transformation है और column का एक transformation. And next one is also here adding the scalar multiple of all the elements of any row or column. To the corresponding elements of any other row or column, वहाँ पे भी one row का transformation है और one column का transformation। तो three row transformation है, three column transformation साथ दिया। The here first means interchange of any two row or any two column। देख consider the one example, consider a matrix one, two, three, four। then this has 2 by 2 matrix. Then this is our first row and this is our second row. Then this is our first column, C1 column. This is our second column, C2 column. Then if we want to do, that is the interchange between these two rows. That is R1 change R2, R2 change R1. Interchange means what is If you give your pen to your friend and your friend's pen to you, Gain back, then this is nothing but the interchanging of pain. Then something here we interchange between these two rows. So R1 ke jo bhi element hai, wo R2 ke hoge, aur R2 ke jo bhi element hai, wo R1 ke hoge. But in order to denote this transformation, then this interchange between these two row we denote this as double arrow means R1 ke element change hote R2 se, aur R2 ke again change hote R1 se. Okay, here we denote double row because R1 is also changed and this R2 is also changed. That is the elements of R1 is also changed and the elements of R2 is also changed. Okay, or this operation is also we denote R12. Okay, this notation we use kar sakte. That is here first row, how to read? First row change by second and second is changed by first. Okay, in this way. Then when we apply this operation on this matrix, then this matrix A matrix is equivalent to the original matrix, not equal to, okay, it is equivalent to original matrix, whatever we apply the transformation on matrix, whatever we get the new matrix which is equivalent to the original matrix, not equal to then, this new matrix A is equivalent to the original matrix and what is the change, means this R1 element kya hai, 1, 2 is changed by this 3, 4, okay, R1 ke element ki jaga kaos element aege, 3, 4, that is R2 ke element, means 3, 4 and this R2 ke element ki jaga R1 ke element, that means 1, 2, this is our new matrix, which is again is of the same order 2 by 2e. Okay, means the rows and column are changed. 
then uh, means here we have interchanged the row but same thing if you want to change the column you have c1 column c2 column if you want to interchange between these two column then same thing operation we have to do consider one example or same this example here if you want to interchange this column then c1 column is changed to c2 column we denote this operation by this one or c1 C1 2 means first column changed by second and second column is changed by first and the new matrix is equivalent to the original matrix after doing this column operation then this C1 column ki jaga kaun si limit aayenge C2 column ke and this C2 column ki jaga C1 column ki limit aayenge thik hai to C1 column ki limit kya hai 1 3 uski jaga kya hoga 2 4 Next, C2 column ke element kya hai? 2, 4. Uski jaga kya hai? 1, 3. Means C1 is changed by C2. And C2 is changed by C1. And is of order, again we get, this is of order 2 by 2. Is the new matrix. Is the interchange of any two row or any two column. R1 ke element, R2 se change hoate, R2 ke R1 se change hoate. That is interchange of two rows. Or interchange of two columns, so C1 column ke element C2 se change hoate. Or C2 ke C1 se change hoate. Then this is whatever these three operations which are the important for solving the example here. For solving the example depending on this in exercise 2.1 it it is particularly it is given which operation you have to apply that is it is given by applying the following operation means r1 change by r2 or c1 change by c2 or c2 change by c1 this particular operations are provided what you have to do the operations or add scalar multiple okay this particular operations are provided and according to this we have to find the solution but when we find the inverse of a matrix at that time you have to decide out of these three operations this one this one and again the next operation is that scalar multiple of all the element of any row to the corresponding element of the another row or the scalar multiple of all element of column to the corresponding element of another column. Then out of these three operations, whatever the operation you have to apply, you have to, you have to decide yourself, okay, which operation you have to apply, okay. Then this, all these three operations are important for solving the example to find the inverse or the next, that is application based system of equation. For solving the system of equation, out of these three operations, you have to decide which operation you have to use. For solving an example. Then next is the multiplication of the element of any row or column by a non-zero scalar. Here we have to multiply all the element of a row or the column Whenever we have to take the scalar, the scalar is non-zero. So, scalar ki kuch bhi particular value ho sakti hai but it is a non-zero value. Okay. Then multiplication of element of any row or column by a non-zero scalar. Matlab take a Matrix A is equal to matrix lete hai. Suppose 3, 2, 4, 2. Okay. Or 4, 3, 3. Then, if you want to multiply any row or any column by non-zero scalar, you have to take this scalar as a non-zero. For example, if you take scalar K as 2. And then we multiply this scalar to this as a first row element, this as a second row element. This has a C1 column element, this has a C2 column element. Then we multiply any row or any column by non-zero scalar. Then whatever we get the new matrix which is equivalent to the original matrix. Then suppose we multiply this K is equal to 2, this R1 row. Then this R1 change to, what this value of R1 change? 2 times R1. Here we do the row operation, which row operation? The scalar multiplication, multiply this R1 row by this scalar 2, 2 se multiply karenge. So R1 ke element change hoge and here we denote this single arrow. Means which element change only? R1 ke element change hoge. Okay? Here we have denote double arrow because R1 e change, R2 e change. Okay, dono ke ube change hoge. Yaha pe kaunsi element change hoge only? R1 ke element change hoge. R2 ke element as it is here hoge. Then whatever we get in new matrix, we write this A matrix, new matrix is equivalent to the A and this R1 element is changed. Before this, write the element of the row which is unchanged. This row ke element as it is right there. R2 ke element mein kuch bhi chahi hai. So first of R2 ke element as it is written 3, 4, 3. So R1 ke element change hoge. So 
मल्टीप्लाई दिस आर वन के इलिमेंट दैट इज फर्स्ट इलिमेंट इज थ्री थ्री से मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे टू तो क्या होगा सिक्स एंड सेकंड इलिमेंट टू से मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे टू तो फोर देन वी गेट दिस एज न्यू मैट्रिक्स देन दिस आर वन इज चेंज बाय टू टाइम्स आर वन तो आर वन के इलिमेंट चेंज हो गए एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू दी ओरिजिनल मैट्रिक्स सेम थिंग ऑपरेशन वट वी डू फॉर वो सेम ऑपरेशन हम कॉलम के लिए भी अप्लाई करेंगे ओके मतलब जो भी थ्री ऑपरेशन है विच विच इज एप्लीकेबल फॉर ओ एज वेल एज फॉर कॉलम देन टोटल आर सिक्स ऑपरेशन ओके थ्री फॉर ओ एंड थ्री फॉर कॉलम ओके देन सेम थिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस C2 column or change this C2 column multiply by C2 some scalar then this C2 ke element change okay then suppose C2 change three times C2 okay then constant char column change hota hai C2 column change hota hai then first we write the C1 column as it is okay C1 mein koi bhi change nahi so we first write the column which remain as it is okay then this new matrix is equal to the A matrix and this C1 column ke element as it is a Because we are changing the C two element only. Then what is the change for C two element? We are multiplying the element of C two. C two element comes say two and three. So two का change होगा two into three that is six. New element is that is multiply the C two column के element को multiply करना है three से. Then two into three six. And second का second element को three से multiply करेंगे तो nine. That means we get a new matrix which is equal to the original matrix here. The element of C two is change only. The next operation is that the adding the scalar multiple of any row or column to the corresponding element of any other row or column. Then here, if you want to add the scalar multiple of any row, then we have to add the scalar multiple of row to the row element. And if you want to add the scalar multiple of column element, then the scalar multiple of column element to the column element. Okay, not the row element with column or column with row. Okay, then first here consider one example. A is equal to that means three, two, and two one. Then here if you want to add the scalar multiple of R two element to the R one, then the element of R one is change. Okay. Then here, if you want to do the row operation, this R one change to R one plus two times R two. This the element of R one is change. The element of remain R two remain as it is. This is our R one R one row. This is R two row. Then here, what we do the row operation? The adding the scalar multiple of any row to the corresponding element of any other row. If we do the scalar, that is adding the scalar multiple of row, then we have to add this row with the another row. And if you want to do the scale sending operation, that is adding the scalar multiple of any column, then add this column to the corresponding element of any other column. Means column operation with column, row operation with row. Okay. Then here we change this R1 row to R1 plus two times R2. So two times R2 ke scalar multiple R1 me add karenge. So R1 ke element change ho jayenge and R2 ke element as it is rahenge. Then this new matrix is equal to then the R2 row remain as it is. Then first we write the second row as it is. The element which do not change. Then first write this element as it is. Then the element of R1 is changed. Then what is this element change? Means this R1. What is the row operation here? R1 element plus two times R2 to add करने. So first element क्या होगा change? This three change two. Means this first element three change two. R1 का first element plus two times R2 का first element. So R2 का first element क्या है two है. Then two times two. Then this this three change two four plus three. That is seven. Means three की जगह क्या होगा seven होगा. Okay. By applying this operation. The next element क्या है R1 का टू ए तो टू का चेंज होगा टू टाइम्स दैट इज फर्स्ट इज टू इलेवेंट आर वन का एज इट इज टू प्लस टू टाइम आर टू तो टू टाइम इज वन आर टू का सेकंड इलेवेंट क्या है वन ए तो ये क्या चेंज होगा फोर तो दिस टू इज चेंज टू फोर एंड दिस थ्री चेंज टू सेवन टू डू दिस दैट मीन्स आर वन प्लस टू टाइम्स आर टू तो आर वन के इलेवेंट में टू टाइम्स आर टू के इलेवेंट चेंज हो एड कर लें आर वन के इलेवेंट में टू टाइम्स आर टू के इलेवेंट एड कर लें तो आर वन का क्या है थ्री प्लस टू टाइम आर टू क्या होगा टू टाइम्स टू 
दैट इज फोर प्लस थ्री सेवन तो इसकी जगह क्या होगा सेवन मिलेगा देन सेम थिंग सेकंड इलिमेंट जो है आर वन का क्या है टू ए तो टू की जगह क्या चेंज होगा आर वन का इलिमेंट प्लस टू डाइम आर टू का इलिमेंट तो आर वन का क्या है टू ए प्लस टू टाइम आर टू का क्या है वन ए तो टू प्लस टू फोर तो फोर की जगह टू की जगह क्या होगा फोर देन दिस थ्री चेंज टू सेवन एंड दिस टू इज चेंज टू फोर दिस विच इज योर न्यू मैट्रिक्स देन वट एवर वी डू दी रो ऑपरेशन सेम थिंग वी डू फॉर दी कॉलम ऑल्सो देन ऑल्सो वी डू दी कॉलम ऑपरेशन फॉर सेम थिंग मैट्रिक्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज दिस सी टू कॉलम बाय सी टू प्लस टू टाइम सी वन ओके सी टू के साथ क्या ऐड करेंगे टू टाइम सी वन कॉलम ऐड करेंगे तो सी टू के इलिमेंट चेंज हो जाएंगे सेकंड कॉलम के फर्स्ट कॉलम के इलिमेंट एज इट इज रहेंगे देन फर्स्ट वे राइट द मैट्रिक्स इन विच द फर्स्ट कॉलम एज इट इज ओके द फर्स्ट कॉलम के इलिमेंट एज इट इज है तो क्या है फर्स्ट कॉलम थ्री टू देन वे राइट द इलिमेंट ऑफ द फर्स्ट कॉलम एज इट इज दैट मीन्स थ्री टू देन द इलिमेंट ऑफ सेकंड कॉलम चेंज दिस टू एंड वन की जगह क्या होगा देन दिस टू इज चेंज टू बट इज द ऑपरेशन C2 का एलिमेंट प्लस टू टाइम C1 का एलिमेंट ठीक है तो C2 का एलिमेंट क्या है टू ए प्लस टू टाइम C1 का एलिमेंट लेना है तो टू टाइम C1 का फर्स्ट एलिमेंट क्या है थ्री ए देन दिस चेंज टू थ्री इंटू टू सिक्स प्लस टू दट मीन्स एट दिस टू की जगह क्या होगा एट देन सेम थिंग सेकंड एलिमेंट क्या है C1 का C2 का वन है तो वन की जगह क्या होगा वन वन इज चेंज टू दट इन मीन्स सी टू प्लस टू टाइम सी वन तो सी टू का क्या है वन प्लस टू टाइम सी वन का एलिमेंट क्या है टू है ठीक है देन दिस इज इक्वल टू फाइव देन दिस वन इज चेंज टू फाइव एंड दिस टू इज चेंज टू एट दट इज न्यू कॉलम इज एट फाइव एंड दिस इज अ न्यू मैट्रिक्स मीन्स आफ्टर डूइंग दिस कॉल ऑपरेशन दिस All these three operations mean interchanging any two row or any two column, multiplying the scalar, multiplication of scalar to any row or any column, or this third one means adding the scalar multiple of any row or column to the corresponding element of any other row or column is most important. All these operations for solving the example depending on to find the inverse of matrix or the solving the system of equation. Okay, then suppose if you want to See this some examples depending on this. That means then here in this given example, apply the given elementary transformation and we find the value. Then in the given first matrix one zero minus one three is given two by two matrix, and here it is required to apply this elementary transformation. So guy R one R two se change karna hai and R two R one se change karna hai. That is interchanging row. Okay, interchanging this two rows. So new matrix kya hoga? Which is equal to original matrix R one. This is R one row. This is R two row. So R one ki jagah kya hoga? R two ki element hoga. Minus one three. And R two ki jagah kya hoga? R one ki element one zero. This is new matrix. That is just interchanging row. Then second operation is that the, the second example is that. The given matrix is one, two, three, four, and it is required to find two times C two. The operation apply करना है C two column में. तो ये क्या है C one column में, ये क्या है C two column में. तो change कौन से column में होना चाहिए? C two column में. तो C two column change to two times C two change होगा. ठीक है? तो new matrix क्या होगा? If you want to change in for the C two column, तो C one column के element as it is रहेंगे. क्या है वो C one column के element one three. ठीक है? Then this C one column element as it is, C two के element change Okay, two into two that is four, and this four into two eight. These are new matrix. Then for the third one example, this is the matrix is of order two number of rows and three number of columns is given, and we have to do the elementary transformation C three plus two times C two. So C three ke element change hoge. C three this column C three change kya hoga change C three plus टू टाइम सी टू एड करना है ठीक है तो सी थ्री के कॉलम चेंज हो गए तो सी थ्री कॉलम के इलेवन चेंज हो गए दिस आर सी वन कॉलम दिस आर सी टू कॉलम दिस आर सी थ्री कॉलम तो दिस ए मैट्रिक्स इज इक्वल टू दिस सी वन इलेवेंट एज इट इज फर्स्ट कॉलम एज इट इज सेकंड कॉलम इज ऑल्सो एज इट इज एंड द इलिमेंट ऑफ थर्ड कॉलम इज चेंज तो थर्ड कॉलम के इलिमेंट क्या चेंज होते हैं दिस सी थ्री के इलिमेंट क्या है थ्री एंड वन तो थ्री चेंज टू सी थ्री दैट इज थ्री प्लस टू टाइम सी टू टू टाइम सी टू एड करना है इसके साथ ठीक है तो टू टाइम सी टू क्या होगा टू इंटू टू फोर दैट मीन्स सेवन दिस थ्री चेंज टू सेवन नेक्स्ट इलिमेंट दिस सी थ्री का सेकंड इलिमेंट क्या है वन दिस वन चेंज टू वन प्लस टू टाइम दिस 
टू मतलब फाइव सेवन फाइव तो न्यू वालों क्या होगा सेवन फाइव दिस इज अ न्यू मैट्रिक्स इन दिस वे वी सॉल्व द एग्जाम्पल डिपेंडिंग ऑन एलिमेंट ट्रांसफॉर्म नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी सॉल्व द एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चन डिपेंडिंग ऑन टू पॉइंट वन देन थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल